Fortescue Metals Group are not only the new force in iron ore, but they are developing and embracing the latest technology and machinery such as the purpose-built rock crushing package from AgriFuture. This video will take you through this technology, methods and systems. The purpose-built rock crushing unit has a 310 horsepower prime mover coupled to an FAE rotary fixed tooth hammer mill. The stone crusher can skim roads, crush base course, top course, or windrows for stockpiling, or loose rock. Skimming roads is when we skim from 10 to 50 mil off the top of the road. The purpose behind this is to take out corrugations, wheel tracks, or sharp rock in the surface of the road. Skimming roads is performed at speeds between 1 to 5 kilometres per hour. A grader could also be utilised to lightly scarify the road in front of the rock crusher, which will help speed the process up and eliminate some of the wear. This system can also be utilised to crush loose rock off haul roads, leaving a fine gravel behind, continually improving the road. The rock crusher has a cut width of 2 metres. The depth of the machine is controlled by the hydraulics and the top link on the back of the prime mover. So we've got total control of the depth at all times. You can cover a lot of kilometres in a very short period of time. If you really want to finish the road off properly, all you need is a water cart and a roller and it would be good for ages. Preparing site pads and lay down areas. First of all we bring the larger machinery in and we pre-rip and level the area out that is required. We'll then go back through again and check out to make sure that there's no larger rock in there. This tends to slow the rock crusher down and also can cause extra wear on the machine which we don't want. Once this has taken place then it's just a matter of the rock crusher to come in and start doing its job. The rocks here you see are only the ones that we saw. There are still plenty of others in this job that we never saw and the rock crusher still had to deal with those and crush them up. In roading and in site works we don't have to have a windrow for the machine. Once the pad or the road is worked up the machine is just pulled straight into the loose surface. At this point here the machine is working at approximately 250mm to 300mm deep. The speed of the machine through here will vary from anywhere from 0.5 of a kilometre an hour to 1.5 of a kilometre. The average speed that we normally achieve is around 1 to 1.2 kilometres an hour. At this speed and the depths that we're getting, it equates to anywhere between 400 and 700 cubic metres an hour the machine is producing. The average size material here that we're taking it down to is approximately 25 mil in diameter. The pictures that you're seeing now is the raw material that we are crushing and there's still a lot of bigger rock underneath that we can't see. This is just what the D10 is track rolled. The rock crusher gives a constant blend of material and particle sizing through the whole job. 
So when it comes to compaction, we can achieve it in a very short period of time. On some of the site pads that we've performed on this particular job, we have achieved a 100% and 98% compaction rates within one day of performing the work and rolling it out. This pad took approximately four to five hours to finish. The depth here averaged between 250 to 300 mil, and that's the size of the rock we had to contend with. And this is the finished article. This is the new pad site for the new administration buildings. The rock here was a lot harder than the last pad that we did. You see here the dozer is backing up to a rock that's approximately 700 mil in diameter and it's raised itself up on the pick trying to break this particular rock which it couldn't. This is indicative of the rock through this entire pad. On this particular pad, we brought the rock size down to approximately 50 to 60 mil in diameter. The compressive strength of the rock here was around about 60 MPA. The average compressive strength of the rock through the whole site averages between 20 to 60 MPA. The rock type in the last two sites was iron ore cap, um, with this rock here on this particular site being a lot harder as we just stated. This is the site works for the new camp. The rock here is a clay based shale rock which varies from easy going to large slate boulders. The average depth we're getting through here again is between 250 and 300 mil deep. The compressive strength of this rock is around 50 to 60 MPA. The biggest advantage the rock crusher gives you is an instant material base of consistent size material that allows ancillary machinery such as graders, water carts and rollers to follow up straight behind the machine.
Because of the consistency or homogeneous material produced, we can achieve far higher compaction rates in a very short periods of time. These site pads achieve between 98 to 100% compaction rates within a day's work. After the site works, the next procedure is generally putting in amenities such as power, water, communications, sewer, etc. For this operation, one would normally utilise a rock hammer or free dig if the material allows. To hammer or excavator in this material, you will generally achieve up to 5 to 10 cubic metres per hour if you're lucky. The downside is that the material that you excavate is generally larger than 400mm in diameter. So this means that you have to either track roll or cart the excess material away only to replace what you've carted away. Either way, this is a very expensive exercise. In site cuttings, or road cuttings, ripping or blasting is basically the only option. Again this takes time and is a very expensive exercise per cubic metre. Once performed, you still have to process or remove the overburden, which is a valuable resource but expensive to process. One option to overcome this is the Urquhart rotary drum head. It would be the most practical and inexpensive method available to date for the mining industry. The Urquhart head digs material out in 100 to 150 mil diameter pieces, making it extremely suitable for road base, fill, or for the rock crusher to further process it down to your required size. Because of the size of the material, the rock crusher would be working at its maximum throughput of material, thus also minimising the wear on the rock crusher. This ER1503B on a Daiwu 30 tons excavator produces up to 80 tons of ready to use stone per hour in a stone quarry in Austria. The compression strength of the material is up to 200 megapascals. The relative high cutting rate is possible due to the fine layering of the stone. We believe that an Urquhart head would achieve similar production rates to that in the video. As previously mentioned, the compressor strength in iron ore in the Pilbara region ranges from 20 to 60 MPA, a far cry from the 200 MPA we saw in the video. The Urquhart rotary heads come in eight different sizes to suit excavators from 3 tonne to 110 tonne. In the mountains of Vorarlberg, Austria, an ER-5003 installed on an 80-ton Case Buclain CX-800 excavator is working itself into a dolomite stone with a compression strength of up to 220 megapascals. The cutting rate in this hard rock is up to 30 cubic meters per hour.
These photos show an Urquhart rotary head on a 30 tonne excavator working in Perth WA. This is a 7 metre cut through limestone cap rock with a compressor strength of 60 MPa, averaging 50 cubic metres per hour. Note the particle sizing on the side of the trenches. The excavation cost per cubic metre retail for the Urquhart head would be between two to four dollars per cubic metre. Just imagine, you dig your trench, pull the material out, the rock crusher, as you can see in the video here, can go along and crush it, then your loader just can come along, scoop it up, put it back into the trench or stockpile it for later on. It makes life real easy. Or if you take a site cutting or a road cutting, you get no more dramas with ripping, pushing out, track rolling. All you'd have to do is to pull the material straight out from the aircart head, lay it out or cart it away to a road to be used as a base course or a fill and the rock crusher just drives straight over it as you can see here down to whatever size you want. The Urquhart heads would also be very versatile in quarries or burrow pits where the material they pull out, 100 to 150 mil, could then be carted away to where the roads are and then the stone crusher could then downsize it to its required size. Here we have the rock crusher in road building. Most of these shots show the material being pushed out from cuttings, then crushed. The most practical way is to cart material of a suitable size, which the optimum is between two and three hundred, and the maximum between three and four hundred, direct from the quarry or burrow pit, and then downsize it on site. If the rock is in situ on site, we would then be able to crush for approximately one to three dollars per cubic meter dependent on whether you own the machine or you're hiring it. All these shots here were taken on the same cutting. On this shot here you see the same cutting now down to the proper RL and all we have to do is to come through and give it a final crush to finish the road off. This is an access road of approximately 900 metres long. This is a shale rock clay base we could only work one side of the road at a time as there's still vehicle access coming into sight. You can see here the size of the material and how much there was and the video will basically tell you the rest. You can see here now we've crushed the left hand side of the road and the grade is just going through and crushing the right hand side. Again you can see the size of the material and the machine now will come through and crush it. And you'll see here we have the final shot of the road. This road took approximately two hours to complete and that's the finish that we've achieved in that time frame. 
there's very very little fine here available and we have created most of what you see on the road ourselves from the rock crusher I'd like to thank you very much for taking the time to look at this production if there are any questions or queries there are phone numbers at the end and we're just going to leave you with a few photos with the machine working on the job out in the Pearlborough. Thank you very much.